Hello, I'm Quinn Keon. And I'm Rich Smith. And this is Real Hunting. southern Michigan about seven hours more to go and we will end up in Tennessee we've been in kind of a bow fishing rut the past few years um, the weather warms up the water warms up everything looks great we get ready for a trip someplace and then a cold front rolls in shuts it all down so we decided this year we're going to break out of that rut. We're going to do some different things, some different kind of bow fishing. And uh, unfortunately, the cold front found us again. <laughs> it's the end of May, so it's expected. But uh, it's the end of April, buddy. It's the end of April. Yes. And uh, we're heading to Tennessee. And our original goal with this trip was to get a paddlefish. Our friend Dalton Driver invited us down. He says, hey, you guys want to come down and try to shoot a paddlefish sometime, let me know. So we're taking him up on that. And uh, I've been in contact with Dalton. And, you know, the cold front's gonna, gonna change things, but he's pretty confident we can find some carp, which we love. And we can find some buffalo, which I think we love. We, neither one of us has ever shot a buffalo. Not yet. So, it's going to be fun no matter what. Get some outdoor adventure. Get on some new water. Explore some new places, which I love. I love exploring new places. So, big thank you to Dalton for inviting us down. Yes, thank you. We will see Dalton in about seven hours. Well, we made it to Tennessee. Just hopped out for a quick selfie by the sign. And uh, been doing back two lane highways here for the last 50 minutes and uh, getting close to our destination it's a lot of fun so um, pretty uneventful trip other than uh, Michigan really needs to fix I-69 south <laughs> but it looks like they're working on it so that's good um, 7.8 miles turn right onto Ellington Drive getting close 7.8 miles get us in the area we're gonna check into the hotel and then we're going to meet up with Dalton and uh, talk about what we can expect from our Tennessee outdoor adventure. All right, let's go see if we got more than a single bed inside. <laughs> <laughs> the card's blank. Which side goes where? Does... I don't know. Is there a slot? Oh, it's just a proximity card. Cool. Ah, all right. Nice and clean. That's all we need, right? Right. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> yeah, good to meet you. You too. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little stuffy. Thank you, my allergies. No, that's all right. You guys got a lot more foliage out than we have. Most time, it's real green by now, but from where it's been real cold, yeah. it's been a little slower. Huh. You're about two weeks ahead of us, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, we still haven't popped yet, so. <laughs> yeah, and it snowed Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. We, us Tennesseans don't like snow. <laughs> no, right? I get it. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Yeah, here's the setup. All right. Cool. Check it out. <clears throat> uh, tell me the story of the ball bat there. That's a beaver buster. Okay. You're allowed to shoot beavers all year long here, and I got some friends that love to shoot them. Huh. And I got tired of breaking boat paddles. Okay. So we use that as a, a handle to step up, and when, we, when they shoot a beaver, that's what we used to kill it. How about that? Hmm. 
or a flopper stopper, whatever you want to call it. Right. <laughs> cool. The street signs, I did get them legally. I didn't understand them. I wasn't going to do that. I got some guys that work at the work at the city and they got them for me we'll put that on back during december and nice. we put grip tape so it don't slip yeah you sent me photos of that it's a nice setup it's a good idea i've been debating whether or not to get a bigger boat yeah but i keep thinking there's so many places i can't get with a bigger boat yeah i hear you this there's, is yeah. 16. there's the things i just put in oh yeah nice. some led lights huh yeah, so we can see. Nice. Wow, that's a real good boat. Heck yeah. Plenty of room. It's awesome. got good tall sides on it. Yeah. It ain't much of a catfishing boat. You know, I told you I'm big in the catfishing. It does not handle the big river good. The boat fish is Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're hanging out with Dalton down here. We made it to Tennessee. Tennessee, we made it. <laughs> we're trying some ski. Never had ski before, this is pretty darn good. All you Mountain Dew lovers would enjoy this very much. We don't have this up in Michigan, but we do have Verners. You probably Verners, haven't heard of that. Verners, I've heard of Verners. <laughs> brought one down. Yeah. 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 So, Dalton contacted me a couple months ago and said, hey, do you want to come down and try to shoot a paddlefish? So, um, that's what we initially were trying to do. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how somebody finds a paddlefish and what it looks like for us tonight, whether we're going to make that happen. Well, the biggest thing is water temperature, like with any kind of fishing. But it's we've had a cold spell. It, it snowed on us Tuesday night and uh, <laughs> snowed in April in Tennessee. That's that's unheard of. But uh, the water's still in the 50s, and the water's got to be at least in the 70s for them to start coming up before they spawn. But uh, so our chances are pretty low. Of pretty low, fish. because I mean it's unusually cold for Tennessee. Most of the time it'll be in the 80s by now. Right. But uh, so what can we do? We what else can we shoot? Tonight? We kill some big buffalo. I've never shot a buffalo. Me neither. Yeah. So we got plenty of them, and you can probably kill some big fat commas at night too, because they're get right on the verge of spawning. So we we love shooting carp. You know that. So what kind of what kind of water do you find carp in down here? You know, is there a certain kind of weed? Is there a certain depth? Is it water temp? What is it? That you... For me, it's water temperature. Now we got one lake that has zero grass in it. There's no grass, and where we're going tonight has grass. And a lot of times when it starts to get warm, the guard will be up in the grass, buffalo will be up in the grass, and occasionally you'll run across some grass cart, which is really fun. So how, how far away are we going tonight then? We're probably going to go about 45 minutes. We're going to go to Old Hickory. Okay. Right. Old Hickory is down Gallatin all the way to Nashville. Oh, wow. It's a pretty big lake. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, so you mentioned something on the phone that I want to touch on. You said that you got started bow fishing because of a video that we did. Can you tell people about that? Yeah, when I was about 14 or 15, I couldn't drive yet, but I had access to a four-wheeler. And uh, I got to hear people about shooting fish for the bow. I was like, well, I like to shoot a bow. And I like fishing. I mean, that's the best of both worlds. I got to looking up videos, and one of the first videos I seen was bow fishing on a budget. And then I watched all y'all how you could get into it real cheap and stuff. I was like, I can do this. But I started out with a water bottle screwed into my stabilizer with string wrapped around it. Nice. And it wasn't it wasn't long after that I bought one of them boning uh, bow fishing kits that had yep. a drum reel yep. and used it and walked to creeks and shot gall or all It's like that out. one that I had yeah. years ago yeah. that was coming apart, was, that plastic yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Then I moved up to a newer bow, got an actual bow fishing bow, AMS reel, and now I'm shooting an RPM striker that okay. I just got like two months ago in a Mega Mouth reel. Mega Mouth. Oh, so, so you went from the water bottle wrapping, hand wrapping line on that to the new Mega Mouth that's like the, the high end <laughs> yes. bow fishing reel. How about that? And I love it. How about it's, that? It's a little expensive, but from what I've seen, I, you know very well bow fishing is going to tear up stuff. Yeah. So it's the I tell people it's the most abusive thing you can do to your archery equipment yes. is bow fishing. So. Yeah. It's gonna get dirty, it's gonna get beat, it's gonna get wet, it's gonna get bloody, rusty. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> you name it, slime. Yeah. <laughs> well I gotta say for me, man, that that's that's just a, a really heartwarming thing because anytime that um, you know you can give back in some way or you can be a positive inspiration or influence to somebody else. That's just, I'm real big on that. So a part of the reason that we first started doing videos was exactly for that. So 
it's great to, to hear that come full circle and to think that a video that we put together had that kind of influence on someone. All the way down here in Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. From what we did up in Michigan. And I'm all about giving back. Once I got to where I was able to, where I'm at today, that's why I contact you. Maybe I can give something back. Yeah, that's awesome. Eat. I love it. I that's love awesome. this story. I yeah. love this story. Yeah, so, very cool. You want to know something funny about the bow fishing on a budget video is I almost scrapped it. I almost scrapped it and didn't put it out because we had we had audio issues with it. Yep. You did a firmware update on your camera yep. like the night <laughs> that before. Night, yeah, the night before, yeah. And it and it wiped the mic out. And so Rich didn't have a mic on that one and I'm like, oh man, the audio's not good on this. Maybe I should just forget it. And I put it out and that video has over a million views now. Y'all shot a lot of fish that day too. Yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now see, here's the thing, we don't have clear water like that here. Okay. When it when it turns warm, it's gonna be muddy. Yep. Yeah. It's just what we're used to. Sure. But a lot of people, you see up north, they'll have like LED lights that's like a white, bluish, that will not work here because mud is basically fine particles in the water. So when you shine like a bright light like that white, it's going to reflect back on you because it's just like driving with your high beams on yeah. in the snow. It's going to reflect back on you. So we use like yellow to amber color lights so it penetrates better. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll make a difference if you're fishing a tournament too, because some guys can't even see the fish and then you're seeing fish. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, that's great. That's awesome. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, so right? <laughs> thanks for the invite. Yeah. We'll yeah. go we'll go get some dinner. Yeah. And then we'll uh, head out <laughs> and we'll day. check in later when we get to the ramp and uh, get on the water. All right. At day two we're rolling out and uh, going to meet up with Dalton it is a rainy day but it's not as rainy as what was forecasted so that's good uh, temps are a little lower today uh, overcast you know I mean I, honestly I'm not feeling great about finding fish but this is not my area and uh, not even my state so who knows we're gonna go meet up with Dalton right now we're gonna go scope out some water that we might potentially fish later see if it looks like there's any kind of activity going on uh, do we know what the temp is 50 degrees 50 degrees in tennessee in uh late april and uh, yeah so that's it we had a good breakfast in town this morning at christine so we appreciate that and other than that we'll uh check in when we get met up with dalton <laughs> all right we found dalton again Dalton's got a plan. He's going to fill us in on what it is. We're going to another lake right now that's only like 20 minutes from the house going back to the east. It's called Cordell Hole. I fish it a whole lot. got a lot of tournaments on it. And it's been raining, but this lake is the very last lake to get muddy. So maybe we can get down here and see some carp from the road, and then if it looks worthy, we're going to go there tonight, put in, maybe try to kill some of them. Just have to see. There you have it. That's the plan. Rolling out on an, another day of adventure. Find some fish. Yeah, yeah. you know what? We're going to take this tonight and throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dalton's pet fish here.
So this is what we're going to try tonight, huh? Yep. See if we can find something to shoot at down in that water. He knew to be up here in the fall when all the leaves are changing and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm sure. This debris up here on the rocks is all where the uh, high water line was back in the flood of 2010. You can see a water line up here on the up here on the dam. See that water line lines up with all the debris, and that's a lot. I mean, that's 20, 30 feet up from where it is right now, up above the dam here. Sometimes you come down here to this uh, this corner where there's an eddy, where the current's going this way, it's just like slack water, and you use a piece of shad, cut the gut piece out and drop it straight down, you catch the drum, 10, 15 pounds. Well, a lot of times you're going to get drum over catfish. You know I'm trying to get catfish to take home meat. It's a good place to see a lot of pailfish right here in all these bowls and stuff, once the water gets warmer. miserable out here <laughs> hey we're headed over to uh, Dalton's to uh, pick him up for some supper and then uh, after supper tonight we're gonna head back out um, it looks like all the rains done for the day and uh, we found another spot we did some exploring earlier that uh, has potentially um, some common carp that uh, felt pretty good today when we explored it so we're gonna go take a look we got what is that? Smoked baloney. All right. Dalton made us a smoked baloney while we went and slacked off napping. This <laughs> I slept too. I just woke up. <laughs> hey, Dalton, I gotta tell you something. I didn't do it. There's four turkeys right over there. <laughs> They're looking at you. <laughs> Guns in the house. <laughs> 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 Dalton's been slaying turkeys this year, so. Yeah, and I'm already tagged out. Yeah. And now there's one in my backyard. <laughs> Congratulations on being tagged out. Heck sure. yeah. We only we can only shoot one up in Michigan, so. Yep. That's, that's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Dalton shoots three of them. Yep. They used to be four. Well, with four. with six beards on them. <laughs> yeah. Probably there's six beard turkeys around here. <laughs> Well, thank you for this. Yeah, Looking thank you. Looking forward to trying it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, serious question. How do you feel now that you have Big Ed's meat inside of you? My... <laughs> I was going to say my lips are still burning, but that, that doesn't help. <laughs> There's some hot sauce on there. <laughs> right, we're rolling out for the evening adventure, bow fishing. We think we got something figured out today. Uh, Dalton and I <clears throat> stopped by the grocery store and Dalton picked up a great big box of Cheerios so we can feed his pet carp over at the marina tonight. <laughs> we ought to be <laughs> put some arrows and some fish. <laughs> so what we do have is uh, a little bit clearer water than what we had last night. Um, been raining off and on all day today. It's kind of, well, it's not a great day for bow fishing, but we're gonna make the most of it, hit the water, hopefully find some targets to shoot at, and uh, get in our dose of outdoor adventure for today. See how his bill comes up? Wow. See his shark tail? Huh. Wow. Wow. So how far down is he? Uh, about, he's on the bottom, so he's about 25 foot. So I gotta crank my bow all the way up there. <laughs> yeah.
All right, another great two-day adventure here in Tennessee, and uh, it really turned out better than uh, what we thought it might with the way the weather turned on us. So huge thanks to Dalton. Dalton worked hard to uh, show us the area and to get us on some fish and to get all the gear prepped and, and keep it going. And, um, you know, when you have less than ideal weather conditions, it's really tough to find fish because they go back deep uh, with the cold front that comes in and Dalton says I think we can find some here and the second night he said I think we can find some right here and he was right on he knew right where the fish were going to be and got us some shots and we put a few in the boat and we had a great time um, it's interesting talking with Dalton and and hearing that you know we had some kind of influence on him even starting boat fishing it's very humbling and it's it's kind of hard to wrap my head around because we just started goofing off making videos one day and and that it's led to something like this and somebody wants to invite us down on a boat fishing trip because of watching our videos online that's happened a couple times now so we really appreciate that um, we appreciate all of you watching and and making this possible so thank you for giving us this opportunity and um, with that said we'll wrap this one up thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time